Hello YouTube, I'm Gradamon. Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Now, I know it's been a while since I played this. Um, I, I, I didn't lose interest, I, I just got busy playing other games and doing other things. Um, but uh, I did want to come back and revisit this because, uh, well, Mass Effect was always one of my, uh, my, my number one um, sci uh, science fiction games. Um, like, strictly games, like, before Mass Effect, I don't believe there were any comics or anything. And, yeah, okay, that's what we want. Um, yeah, okay, there we go. So, uh, anyway, so we're still on EOS. And, fuck my life, are those things fucking what I think they are? Are those guys down there? In this region are available yeah. well, anyways. I've added them to your nav system. So, uh, yeah, we're still on EOS. We're still doing the uh, first Pathfinder mission. Cats ahead. They appear to be fighting a Krogan. Is that... Drac? Oh, cool. That fucking badass dude. Safe condition. Radiation. Radiation levels increasing. Okay. So, uh, we did find out what the, uh, um... Radiation within safe levels. What secrets this place had, uh, like, was holding. Hey, you die, you die, oh shit, um, fuck, fuck, there we go, um, shit, there we go. I, I just forgot how to take on, uh, cover here. Um, uh, like I said, it's been a while since I played it, and, uh, not that I got bored of it, I just, I, I got busy doing other things, playing other games, and I find in terms of a game like this, it's actually, ow, it's actually um, a little complicated to, to play a game like this for my channel. Just because there's normally so much editing in it. Oh, you're gonna be one of those assholes, eh? Uh, oh, fuck. Alright. Chosen. More like appointed. Wow, is that. Like, is that Krogan just like praising me? <laughs> that fight was fun. You look You're like you're telling it was fun. me. <laughs> you could really handle yourself, kid. And I hear you're the one to thank for clearing up the sky. Had your number all wrong. Drac had your number all wrong. We work well together. You're not so bad yourself, old man. Maybe we should work together after all. This fight was pretty good, but you're still Nexus and green as a drill. Still, something tells me you've got potential. Be ashamed to waste that. I'm in. <laughs> Just point me to your ship and try to keep up. Nice. We got him. We got a crew. The first colonists sent audio logs about these regions back to the Nexus. Okay. And? Fair wind facing. Lowest radiation count in the area. Little bit of hope. Maybe. Alright. Post beacon. Cool. Here we this go. This is where we'll build our new outpost. A real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve. The Nexus doesn't get a say? Resources are at a crisis point. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. Oh. With current supplies, you could build a military outpost focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. Um, wow, this wow, this is a big decision. So like I get to choose what kind of outpost we put on EOS. Um, opinions team, what do you think? Military outpost or scientific? I say scientific. Aren't we here to explore? I say military. There's too many threats out here. Be advised that the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. Fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Then in that case, carefully. a scientific outpost Prioritize for this one, research and discovery. military for the next one. That's our foundation. And our future. Orders prepped. Ready on your signal. Perfect. Okay, here we go. And they're coming in. The cavalry is on approach. 
Andromeda Initiative, this is Ryder. Pathfinder. Fucking right it is. EOS is ready for deployment. Copy that. Why do why do Outpost humans always look so funny and ready as hell? Like that the girl on uh, on uh, um on the Tempest. August Bradley, operational head for this block. Mayor now, I suppose. Well, hello, Mayor. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. All right. Not just my efforts. It took a lot of people to get us this far. That's the work you'll continue. I hear that. Brodromos. That's what we're calling her. Brodromos? They're eager. I haven't seen eager for months. Eos is far from golden. Whoa. But now it's a producer. A real that sure and reasonable fast. first step. They think you did the impossible. Pretty sure all those buildings weren't there when we just got the here Nexus. like five seconds ago. I warned them. Hoping was irresponsible. You proved me wrong, Pathfinder. You were right to be cautious. I appreciate your candor. We're all on the same side. I wouldn't go that far. But I gotta break your nose, bitch. Oh my god. The reality, Ryder? You brought us time. But one outpost on a long shot planet won't stop us from starving. You already have a lead on something else? The nav point from the vault. Now it gets complicated. It's always been. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts, to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed, but after failing for so long, no one agrees on how to do it. Be aware, that's all. Um, arguing is pointless. We didn't come to a new galaxy to argue about who's right. It got us this far. Talk to Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until then. Okay. Tans waiting on the Nexus. Alright. Sweet. Speak with Tan, Kesh, Kandros, and Addison. Nice. Would you look at that? Look at how gorgeous that is. Mmm. Damn. Fuck yeah. Okay. Beep. 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 Yeah. Jetpack, bitches! Okay. Safe condition. So, it's not like a whole bunch of radiation, I guess. I don't know. I don't understand these measurements. Okay. Um. So what? What are they leaving? I, we all just got here. Why are you leaving? Fucking assholes. Okay. Sure can, because it's already here. Okay, um, now it's telling us to come into the Tempest. Whoa, what is that? It's like a giant earth ring. Okay. I wonder if the land on Eos would still be called Earth. Ascent is go. Or would you say, look at all this Eos? All clear. Okay, here we go. Big ass loading screen. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? Oh, she doesn't like that. Um, okay, so would I be looking at her and saying next time you ask where they want to be, or am I, like, saying, like, next time y'all can ask if you want to be, you know what, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the chance. This isn't a military vessel, but there need to be rules. Better to ask about protocol. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Oh, okay. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. 
We discovered the remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. There's so Let's much clipping. focus back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots, just to be clear. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Um... Can't I say both? Okay, just get along. Let's be kind and give each other the benefit of the doubt. Finding a home for tens of thousands in this hellscape is stressful enough without adding dysfunction. You got it, boss. Yeah, yeah. That's right, I'm if the boss. If Krogan are known for one thing, it's getting along. But not humility or self-awareness. Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drac, see Lexi for a physical. Yes. Good meeting, everyone. Go see Lexi for a physical. It's a good idea. Bitcoin channels already, Pathfinder. Okay, so where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. I still don't know my way around the ship. When you've got a minute, stop by the med bay. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna go straight to the med bay. Where's the med bay? How do we get to the med bay? Hello, med bay? Where's the med bay? I don't know where the med bay is. Is it back there? Hey, no, that's the Mass Effect me. reactor. Um, med bay would be this way. Nice place you found. Med bay. Clean air, plants, helps me think. Something on your mind? <sighs> Maybe. Take it easy. Your biotics always do that when you're maybe stressed? I got it. I'm good. Why did you call me here if you're I not willing to talk about it? I lose it like that. A huntress should have better control. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one. Before the initiative. Some things stick, though. Wait. Like losing wait, the old man. Wait. Wait. She was an Asari commando, but she's not an Asari? How? Is my question. Um, yeah. No one asked. How does a human soldier get to serve with Asari? Prove your biotics can rip an APC apart, and people get nervous. Funny that. The Alliance found me a cross-species military initiative in a hurry. Sent me to Thessia to serve with the Huntress unit. One of the few places where my powers were welcomed. Your father made another one. Hmm. That's pretty cool. You learn something new every day. Now, my lore on Mass Effect isn't, like, top-notch, but... It's 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 still pretty pretty wide. All right, I'm still here. We can talk. I know it's not the same, but I'm a good listener. I hope you're as good at being Pathfinder. I said I wouldn't get in the way, and I meant it. But I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you, an untrained Pathfinder, and all this mess to fix. The hell was he thinking? Is this going to be a problem, Cora? I don't want a rival. Just. Answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. We'll be good together. Good you, together. me, side by side? I like the sound of that. Don't be charming when I'm mad at you. Are you? You're not glowing. Blushing, maybe. Look, mm, there's mm, still the mission. Mm, mm. A lot of dreams to fulfill. Hmm. Okay. Um, what did you come for? So what brought you out to Andromeda? Biotics like this. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different. Will be different if this mission succeeds. 
So I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. All right. So are you saying that you have information on the Asari Ark? Can we go to find Rider? the Asari Ark? The Asari Ark. How's the search for the Asari Ark going? The Lucinia? Checking every comm that's coming in. Nothing concrete yet. Okay. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. So we still don't have a lead on where the Asari Ark is yet? That's okay, I guess that's fine. I don't entirely know, but okay, sure. Okay. Where's my data pad? Oh, how do you get under there? Oh, uh, how do you get under there? Were you talking to your notebook? Okay. Oh, I was, wasn't I? Let's I do that see. sometimes. Anomaly oh, shit. detected. Cool. Uh, anomaly detected. This way. We're here somewhere. Right, right there. Could it be an asteroid? It's an asteroid. Oh boy. Okay, that's it there. That's the one. It has iron. Great, now we can make iron weapons. Yes. Iron weapons. Okay. Um, journal. Uh, ch -ch -ch speak with Addison on the Nexus. Speak with Tan at the Nexus Pathfinder HQ. Okay. And allies and relationships, missing arcs. We still don't know any leads. Okay. Well then. Oh shit. Fuck him alive. No. Fuck. Priority ups. Okay, I guess we're going to the Nexus. So, how do we get to the Nexus now? Let's get to the Nexus. Uh, right here, this is where we want to go. Get to the Nexus. This is the Nexus. <laughs> okay, that's the human arc. I think. Yeah, that's an arc. Okay, um, yes, I do wish to disembark the Tempest. Man. You know, I will always miss the Normandy. And Shepard and his entire team. And I don't know, I didn't really like the Mass Effect 3 ending, but in the same case, I think they should have left Mass Effect 3 out of the equation, if that's what they were planning on doing, and gave us like the ultimate solution in the end of Mass Effect 2, maybe? I don't know, I just, this is my guess. Personal Pathfinder, practice. is it true? We're settling Eos. No, it's We've not. We've thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Thank you. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros' aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. Just doing my job. They've got a Pathfinder again. This is what we do. And you've done it splendidly. This is Herrick, one of the ge uh, scientists from the tech lab. What you achieve with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. But with new scientific talent waking up, we'll unravel those mysteries. The whole Nexus will benefit. This proves our resilience. We've taken some hard knocks, but this proves we'll always get up again. Always. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. Yeah. People like me. Okay. Now let's go to where we need to go. You know, I don't like the idea of the shoes. I don't know why, I just don't like shoes. 
It's like, I understand that, like, I, I, I'm technically not military, but I still don't like the shoes. Okay. You're listening to HNS, your source for news in Helios. An huh. An arm of the Andromeda Initiative. Okay. Okay. Now, where am I going? Where the hell do I go? Somewhere over there. Okay. My goodness. No, I don't have anything. Fuck off. Hello. Director Tan is expecting you. Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. Hmm. We're still getting the commons area ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. Still a big job ahead. Let's hold off on the celebration. We haven't found home yet. Oh, there's no need for modesty. Success affords leverage over those who doubted you. And you're my best friend? A patron. One who shares your vision of a prosperous future. You don't know me! I suppose we agree on that much. I knew that given a chance, your talents would emerge. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. What? Oh. Okay. Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. It was a team effort. It wouldn't have been possible without my crew. They're a talented bunch. But you're their beacon. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Uh-oh. Ah, my staff. Colleagues. You wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. Um, all opinions matter. This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we arrived. Then I look forward to winning our Pathfinder's support. I have concerns about your decision on Eos Rider. An outpost full of scientists won't do as much good if the Ket attack. But it will help support the Nexus. Improved research could help feed our people. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ket are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. <laughs> I don't need your permission, but I really don't want to burn any bridges. Thank you. Thank you, Director. I'll get on it. You cock May bag. you light the torch that finds the path. Pathfinder. Ugh. Right. And may you be the pyre that the torch lights and sets on fire. Ryder, this is Harry back on the Ark. Go ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your sister, sort of. Drop by when you can. Hyperion Medbay. Oh. Will do. My sister. That's right. Pathfinder. I have a twin sister. We have to contact Director Addison as soon as possible. Right. She had something that could help with her job. Okay. No, yes, that's Director Addison. You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My Maybe. department actually has colonial affairs to direct. It's in your mouth. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. Oh my god. Can AVP, you not talk with your mouth ready full? For spending. I'm not a bookkeeper. I'll do the exploring. Don't you have someone else to track the numbers? Get off your perch. This is where numbers become lives. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. Do you have some a sort of cryo cancer? A new cryo group can be brought out. 
Want more focus on research, like on Prodromos? That's your call. Brecker will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. <sighs> no pressure. No pressure at all. Okay, let's speak with Brex. You there! Are you Brex? We must talk! Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Breka, C-63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. Whoa, that seems like... too much. Yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and the Nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? Um... Waking blocks of people? Ah, fuck it, what's first? Alright, Brecca. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure. Okay. Spend AVP to gain perks. Okay. Um... Okay, let's see. Science pods. Selected for their years of field experience and ingenuity under pressure, these scientists' expertise can quickly improve the initiative's research and resource gathering capabilities. I like that. Military pods. Military veterans from across the Milky Way have brought their expertise to Andromeda, including advanced combat training and wilderness survival skills, and... Commerce Pod! Trade is the lifeblood of civilization. These talented merchants and entrepreneurs can use their connections to acquire rare items, grow financial investments, or improve inventory management. Ooh. Uh, you know what? We will check out Military Pod. Okay. Highly trained squads venture into Ket territory to test their defenses. Receive tech materials at regular intervals. Apex tactics earn 50% more credits for Apex missions. Um, you know what? Let's go for. Ooh, let's go for reconnaissance. Yeah. Can never have too much recon. And that's it? Yeah. Okay, that's it. Okay. Cool. Right on. Now, let's get back to the Tempest and see if we can talk to my sister. Or wherever it is that I need to go talk to my sister. Um... Oh, that's completed mission. Fuck that. Uh... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah, visit the visit the sibling in Hyperion's Cryo Bay. Okay, so let's go visit my sibling. This is the way I want to go, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. To the Cryo Bay. Oh yeah, that's right. The Hyperion is the Ark, the human Ark that we were on. Director Tan stresses that it's, quote, for your safety. This is HMS. Once we gather a few more colleagues, I'll make it right, Dash. I promise. So, before I talk to this guy, I just want to point out how tactically unsound that was to have a Turian arc, a Solarian arc, a, um, a Asari arc, and a human arc. Why didn't they just jumble them all together? And then on top of that, I just got to thinking that um, this guy's father, the, pa the the first Pathfinder, and his second, who was supposed to be Pathfinder in his death, um, why would they be on the same arc? Like, that, that is tactically not sound. Harry, what's happening with Sarah? <laughs> well, we got her out of the pod. I... I don't want to get your hopes up, but Sam managed to, uh, find her, you might say. I don't follow. Well, she's still in a coma. 
But she also has an implant like yours, and Sam managed to access it. He's made contact. That's great news. That's incredible. She's okay. Vitals are steady. But I'm letting Sam take the lead on this one. No in a coma. Sarah's mental processes remain intact. So, is she okay? You can ask her yourself. A moment while I establish a link with her implant. Oh, sweet! Proceed. Sarah? Can you hear me? Scott? Is that you? What's happening? Where am I? That's awesome. There was a problem with your stasis pod. You're in a coma on the Hyperion. Do you understand? Uh, I think so. Am I dreaming? Sam linked into your implant, but they say you're stable. You're safe and sound in the med bay. This is so weird. I hear you, but I can't feel anything. Where's Dad? Is he doing okay? Um... She's in a coma. He's busy on a mission. He's... away on a mission right now. I know he's worried about you, though. <laughs> yeah. I know, Dad. He probably said, she'll live. I went off to go study some new form of algae. <laughs> it wasn't like that. He cares. <laughs> How many times has he yelled at me so far? Oh, the usual. Well, when he gets back, tell him he needs to stop picking on my little brother. What's home like? Is Habitat 7 as beautiful as they promised? It's even better. Just wait till you see it. It's amazing. Even better than the hype. That's fantastic. So many things could have gone wrong. Now I've got a reason to get out of this. You can't have all the fun. There's plenty of hard work, too. It's what I signed up for. I should be helping you guys. You will. Well, you were never one to quit, Sarah. A little nap won't hold you back. Hell no, it won't. Tell Dad to save some for me. There's a mountain out there that needs naming. It's mine. You got it. And then... What happened? The connection was only temporary. Her condition remained stable. Okay. Sorry, it seemed better than nothing. I'll keep you posted, promise. Well, it was better than Thanks, nothing. Thanks, Harry. All right, so that's really cool that like, whoa, that was weird. We were able to like connect with like Sam's implant, like or with uh, her implant. Uh, what's her name, Sarah? Yeah, I think her name's Sarah. Anyways, so um, now that we have done all that, I am going to leave it right here. So thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to see more, leave me a comment telling me so in the comment section down below. And I will see you next time.